In other news this evening, a moving ceremony today in Nashville for a military veteran who we know very little about. His story, heartbreaking in so many ways, but we do know he served his country well. News 4's Alan Frio with the story. Here at the State Veterans Cemetery, some 14,500 veterans are buried here. Another veteran was buried today, but his story is unlike many of the men and women who call this their final resting place. As taps was played, the coffin of Robert Colts, a Vietnam veteran, was given a full military escort. Colts had no family members to speak of. The military calls men and women like him unclaimed veterans. He was given full military honors. These people never met John Colts. Today, they are his family. They are also veterans, both active and retired. Area churches also sent representatives. Robert Colts would have died alone, if not for his neighbors, who were the only people at his bedside. They were presented with a flag that draped his coffin. I thought that when he was going to be buried that it would just be me and Richard and it was really sad to me. And then all these other veterans that don't, didn't even know him showed up. Metro Council member John Rutherford never met John Colts either, but it was important to him that he attend the ceremony. We didn't know him personally. I didn't know him personally, but, but he still means something. His life had value. He served our country. He wore the uniform of our country, and that means something. At the Tennessee Veterans Cemetery, Alan Frio, News 4. Veterans organizations are unformed or unclaimed veterans by the Tennessee Department of Veterans Service. In fact, 22 unclaimed veterans have been given military honors at the cemetery in just the past two years. 